this is Kim of buyplrproducts.com. That's all hyphenated, buy-plr-products.com. I just wanted to uh, bring you just a quick video on using PowerPoint if you're not uh, quite familiar um, with using it or you're new to using it in order that you can uh, take PowerPoint presentations that you purchase from me and if there's any edits that you need to do before you uh, record them and upload them to YouTube I just thought I'd go over a few quick things um, just to show you how where you find things on how to edit them um, you can see here I'm just gonna go to a different page here so I'm just gonna click you'll have all of your slides will show up what you do is well first of all what I should mention is you'll go you'll open it up um, the PowerPoint presentation that you've downloaded uh, and you'll want to have it in an unzipped format you'll want to open it up right here uh, and that will load it into um, the PowerPoint if you don't have PowerPoint you can also use um, openoffice.org or um, LibreOffice, that's uh, L-I-B-R-E office.org and those programs will allow you to edit PowerPoint presentations in them as well. So once you've opened it up you'll see that all the slides will be on your left hand side like this. Now for example if I want to change the text size here I just click on here say I wanted to change the font size here. If I wanted to change it, maybe I want to make it smaller, then I would just, I can do that right here. And that, you can see, makes it smaller. I'm just going to put it back to the original size here, because this is an actual video that I have done for, um, for people who are purchasing uh, my PowerPoint presentation. So I'm just going to put it back. If you want to change the font, you can find that right here. There's a number of different fonts. And again, all it would be, <coughs> if you're used to using Microsoft Word and programs like that, this is already very familiar to you. Just highlight and then replace the text that you would like. So we'll just leave it as it is. Um, if you need to add a new slide, this is where you would add that new slide um, part. A few things here. If you want to add any pictures, you could, like I, like I did on my very first page here, I'll just go back for a second here you just you could go to insert and you could find a picture and that happened to be it was from a file that I had and that's how I was able to insert this um, it's uh, from another program I'm able to use these um, this was something that I had purchased uh, from another software program and I'm allowed to use it on other things that I'm making okay the thing I really want to show you though here so you <coughs> excuse me is um, the, the template designs on the other side here. So you have the different design templates that you can choose from there on the right hand side. So if you wanted to choose something different here, um, it's just a matter of just clicking on it. Oh, maybe it just it didn't happen that quickly. That's the one I guess I've used. That's what it says. So if I wanted to change it here, I'll click on that. <coughs> and as you can see, it changes to that. Let me see if I can go back to my original one. There's my original one that I had. Um, you can change the color schemes if you'd like. But the big thing, too, is if you want to use a little bit of animation in your videos here, uh, what you do and is say, like with this, for example, if I wanted it to drop down here, let me just see which one it is here. Well, I could dissolve it in, for example. So by clicking that before you record, it will show up like that once you start recording. So you can go through your slides, each of them, and set it as you want. Or I could have set it up where maybe I wanted it to descend. Let's see if that'll work for me here. Oh, just hang on. And if you wanted, you could apply it to all slides. Of course, it's not working for me right now. So you can see you can play around with some of these different um, things. The other thing you'll notice on a lot of my pages here is I have added um, a footer on there. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it. The way I find it easiest, I believe it's in insert. Oh no, it's under view. Right here under header footer, you can 
this is where I've added it right here and I just chose to exclude the title slide and then you can just hit apply to all or apply I already have that so I'm just going to close it off the other way you could do it is if you wanted you could add a text box um, text boxes are located down here and if you click that's one way you can add a text box if you want to type something in uh, you can also do some fancy things with uh, word art down here where you can choose again if you want to have something rounded let me just show you for example here here's an example so let's just see what it looks like when we so that's the kind of word art we just chose right there okay so I just deleted that all right and then when you want to get rid of oh I guess I didn't delete it let me just bring it down here there we go just moved it down so that was just one kind of word art so there's all sorts of different things you can do so I just thought I would just show you just some you can fool around with some of these different things and see what you can do if you want to change font colors it's all down here so there's shapes if you want to add arrows to anything you can add arrows just click here and you can drag it make it bigger wider all sorts of different things so just want to show you a quick thing on how you can do some edits on your videos before or on your PowerPoint pre presentation slides before you record them into videos. Thanks for listening. Bye.